Hello and welcome back to Tech Day's 10 Minute IG Dams. I'm Tech Day's Managing Editor and today we're talking with Snowflake's Asia Pacific Vice President of Sales, Peter O'Connor. Snowflake is a company that deals with data in a big way. More than 500 million queries run across Snowflake's data cloud each day, accounting for more than 250 petabytes of data. Helping to manage that massive amount of data is a team of more than 2,000 employees across the world. So what else does Snowflake have to offer? Let's turn to Peter to find out. Welcome, Peter. Uh, good to be here. All right, so for an IT manager that hasn't worked with Snowflake before, what are your key products and offerings? Okay, thank you. Um, I guess Snowflake is all about the data cloud and uh, it's uh, built from scratch and uses Snowflake's, uh, I guess, multi-clustered shared data architecture. And it's made up of, you know, six key components, if you like. So the first one being uh, data engineering, and that's where there's the preparation, transfer, and ingestion of data. And then the second one is the data lake, so which enables you to store all of your data in one location on low-cost blob storage. And uh, that can be data from you know, IoT devices or web, log data, uh, web logs or you know, sensor data. It could also be structured data, which is, uh, of course, CRM or ERP data. Uh, Etc., and that thereby removes silos of data across across the organisation, which is often difficult to query. And then there's the data warehouse where you can process all your analytical workloads, and then data science, which is where you run all your uh, ML and AI analytics. And then there's the uh, data applications, which is, uh, en enables customers to build applications on Snowflake using things like you know Tableau or or, or say Salesforce, for example. And then there's data sharing, which really is the uh, enabler for the data cloud. And data sharing allows clients to, I guess, share data in real time and, and very securely uh, with other stakeholders, potentially suppliers or customers. Um, and also they can, uh, I guess, access data in the public, da public data marketplace that Snowflake has which they can then blend with their own data for, uh, I guess, deeper and greater insights. Um, we're cloud agnostic, so we run across, you know, the three major public cloud platforms, AWS, Azure, and also GCP. And I guess, in summary, you know, there are a lot of benefits and I guess value differentiation that comes with Snowflake, but some of the main ones would be, you know, it removes you know, significant operational overhead, um, it enables you to, I guess, analyze your data at, at volume. And as I mentioned earlier, all types of data, both semi-structured and structured. And uh, there's instant elasticity, so you can scale up and down for concurrency. So if you have peak concurrent you know, users at uh, end of month or end of quarter or Monday mornings or so, you can scale up instantly and scale straight back down again. And it's a pay as you consume utility service, so no more paying for reserve 24 by seven infrastructure that might be sitting idle for uh, periods of time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So can you talk a little bit about recent product or company announcements that have come up? Yeah, well, we had a, a pretty significant announcement last week at our global um, data cloud summit, which I think more than 50,000 odd people were registered to attend, uh, including an APAC uh, exclusive session as well. And we announced um, a new offering called uh, Snowpark. And Snowpark is, uh, it allows developers and data engineers and data scientists, you know, uh, to write Snowflake code in their preferred way, i.e. in Scala or Java. Um, and later on, it'll be in Python as well, and then execute it directly in Snowflake. And this will be available uh, as at Q1 next, next year. And then just a little bit, a little while ago, we also announced, you know, uh, integration with salesforce.com. So Salesforce customers can now query data directly from Salesforce that resides in Snowflake. So making it a lot easier and a lot faster. Brilliant. Okay. So we're focusing a little bit uh, more on ANZ now. So what resources and infrastructure do you have here in Australia and New Zealand? Uh, in terms of infrastructure, so Snowflake today, runs on both AWS and Azure um, in Australia, uh, which obviously covers the Australia and New Zealand market. Um, we also have offices in uh, Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, Auckland and Perth. 
And then soon uh, we'll be opening our office in Canberra, one early, very early next year. We have about, geez, it's growing so quickly, about 45 to 50 employees in Australia and New Zealand that cover you know, sales roles, um, sales engineering roles, marketing, channel management, professional services, training, uh, and so on. Brilliant. Okay. So I guess if people watching this want to know how to contact you, uh, whether they are a partner or whether they are an enterprise end user, what's the best way that they can do so? Well, they can contact us through our, our website. Uh, and by the way, you can access a free trial of Snowflake on our website. That's just snowflake.com, uh, which enables you to use um, Snowflake and get used to the service, you know, uh, at your leisure, I guess. Um, and just either contact us through the website, um, which is quite easy, and um, and we'll you know, take good care of you. And um, uh, either that, or you can always reach out to me, and I'll uh, steer you in the right direction. And that's you know Peter O'Connor at Snowflake.com. And I guess we have a whole host of different types of partners in in Australia already. You know, we have um, application partners that are building applications on Snowflake. We have data providers who are obviously adding their data into uh, Snowflake marketplaces. We have um, global and local systems integrators and also we have a, a wide range of technical alliance partners, you know, such as uh, visualization tools and ETL tools and also um, data engineering tools, uh, so, uh, data science tools such as data IQ and things like that. So if People are keen to partner with Snowflake. Again, we have a partner portal called the Snowflake Partner Portal. You can just log on there uh, and then um, we'll get in contact with you as soon as possible. So um, yeah, that's probably the best way, I guess. Brilliant. Okay, so that concludes our Tech Day 10 Minute IG Jam with Snowflake's Asia Pacific Vice President of Sales, Peter O'Connor. Thank you so much for talking to us today, Peter. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you.